I'm Andrea Maynard. These are my kids, Vinny and Chessie. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. Mom says we're her best creation. Well, of course we have it. She also makes a lot of cool art. Thanks, kids. I make altered books. I make jewelry. I also knit. Today I'm going to make this 3D painting that I call House by the Sea. All right, it's time to head to the studio and get to work. Come on, kids. Welcome to my studio. This is my playroom. I have everything I need here to make my painting. And I have the studio dog, Butterscotch. To start, I have a blank canvas and some dark blue acrylic paint. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the sky and give a little background for the ocean. I usually like to get the paint on the canvas and then I play around with the texture. So every so often I'll spray it with water to make sure it doesn't dry too quickly. I use acrylic paint because I like how fast it dries. I'm going to use my brush in a swooping motion to give it a little texture. I kind of want to give the feeling of a windswept night. The next thing I'm going to do is give the sky a spray with my water bottle to give it a starry texture. The sky's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to do a wash across the bottom for the ocean. Now that it's covered in paint, I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to wipe most of it off. That looks pretty good. I finished defining the ocean. I'm going to set this aside to dry while I tear some paper to create the cliff. I'm using a medium weight art paper. I like it because it has a nice texture. I'm going to tear it against the ruler so that the edges are straight. I've torn the cliff out and now I'm going to tear some smaller strips for added texture. The strips are torn and now I'm going to glue them down with gel medium. I want a little bit of gel right on the edge because when I add paint, it will adhere differently to the gel and it'll give it even more texture. I want to give the illusion of layers of rock. Now all my strips are glued on. It's time for me to glue the entire cliff to the canvas. I'm using the same gel medium to glue the cliff to the canvas. I've let it dry for a few minutes and now the glue holding the cliff down is dry and I'm going to paint it using brown acrylic paint. I'm using a watered down paint because I really want the paint to soak into the paper. I've painted the cliff and I've let it dry and now I'm going to add some mica dust for a little sparkle. I'm using gel medium to adhere the mica dust. The mica flakes are on and I'm done with the cliff. Now I'm ready to start working on the texture of the ocean. I'm gonna use extra heavy gloss gel medium. It's a really, really thick gel that can hold a lot of texture. I'm going to use it with paint swirled in for the texture of the ocean. Just like icing. I have a nice thick layer of gel on and now I'm going to add paint, swirl it in, and then draw the waves with the end of the paintbrush. This is a pearl paint to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Now I'm going to smooth it back out with a palette knife. That way it'll blend the colors a little more and I'll have a nice smooth surface to draw my waves in. I'm going to draw some waves with the end of the paintbrush in the gel. I really like working with paint and color, but what I like the most is working with things like gel medium so that I can add lots of texture and kind of a 3D quality to my work. I've drawn the waves and now I'm going to let it dry overnight. Because the gel medium takes a while to dry, I've already prepared one and now I'm going to add highlights to the waves and some more texture gel. So really, I just like to feel like a kid in finger paint. The texture gel that I'm gonna add has tiny, tiny glass beads mixed in. The gel dries clear and you just see the tiny beads and I think they look a lot like little droplets of water. So I'm gonna add those to make it look like the waves are crashing on the cliff and sending up spray. I'm adding a lot of this gel to where the ocean meets the cliff because that's where the waves would be crashing. I've let the texture gel dry until it turned clear. Now I'm going to add a glaze that will make the ocean look a little bluer and to highlight the beads in the texture gel. I finished the glaze. Now I'm going to set it aside while I work on the collage elements of the piece. First, I'm going to assemble the house. 
first thing I'm going to do is cover this little canvas board with some scrapbook paper. I've finished covering the canvas board and paper. This is going to be the base of the house. I have a piece of corrugated cardboard that I've pulled apart to be the roof, and now I'm going to paint them. And now I'm going to use some odds and ends to embellish the house. I finished gluing all the embellishments on the house, and now I'm ready to glue the collage elements to my painting. I've glued all my collage elements on, and now I'm going to dress up the edges with some sheet music. First, I'm going to glue the sheet music to the edge, then I'm going to distress it with some masking tape. I like to distress the paper. It gives it a little more character, and it just looks cool. I've ripped off the tape, and now it's time to paint it red. I've glued and painted the sheet music to the edges of the canvas. Now my 3D painting is ready to hang.